Well, we're ready to start our next big project, which is going to be the yard link cedar panel no dig fencing system. And I've already got a couple of them in place out here. So the panels come pre assembled, they're made of cedar, and they're nice and straight. It's a really nice looking clean fence, and it's hard to believe there'd be anything easier to do. Uh, you basically just drive these stakes into the ground and then the fence panels mount by these little holes here so it goes up really quick and i'll uh i'll get some of the post and show you how that process works first step to any job like this is to call your local utility company uh, where i live you just make one call they send everybody out to mark where the lines are Okay, so we're ready to add another piece here. So we'll need to take this pole out. It separates from that bottom piece. And then uh, we've got our next piece to go in here. Uh, these spears separate. There's a screw that holds it together. So, you know, this will go in the ground. Okay, so if we want to put this, we've decided to go three inches from the side lock. So we'll measure three inches there. Uh, we've got our pilot stick here. We'll put that right there. Use this to decide where it needs to be. Give it a couple of pounds. Now we can roll this out of the way. So one thing I want to do um, on their instructions, they just show putting this where you want it, put a block of wood on it, hit it with the hammer. Uh, but uh, when I did that, I found that I was not getting it completely uh, vertical and it was causing some problems for the pieces to fit. So what I started doing was using this leveling mechanism just to to get that where I want it. So now I know it's straight up and down. So I get my first couple of hits on it. So now we know we're at least starting off straight and uh, we'll try to keep it that way as we go. And uh, this is a pilot spike I've been using. I don't know where I got it. I'm sure it's meant for some other purpose. It has little holes around here. But I uh, found it in the garage. It's been working great. Okay, so there's our pilot hole. And I can stick that right down in it. According to the instructions, uh, they suggest using a block of wood to pound it in with. Uh, I found that my block of wood just kept breaking. So what I decided to go with was just this piece of galvanized pipe. So now I can put this uh, straightening device on it. So what I've been doing is taking these spins down, just level with the top of the dirt. And this area right here is about right you know, for the bottom of the fence, so just keep driving it. And you can just pull this out. Okay. Okay, on this one, our pipe got stuck in the, uh, I guess I'll call it the spear tip. I'm not sure what the proper name for it is. So what I did is just get a pipe wrench, kind of loosen it up a little bit, pull up as I'm turning it, comes right out. Okay, so we got our spearhead in, now we'll just take our pole, 
feed it right down there. Oops, it's kind of tricky. But because we used that level, uh, that went in a lot easier than some of the others have. So that's all there is to it. That's one piece in. It took about 10 minutes. Okay, so here's our little device that I was using to uh, square up the, the poles with. Um, it's just a typical bubble level for doing fences and things. You know, you have a level on both sides, so it just helps you to keep it going straight up and down. It's still going to be tricky though, but uh, it helps a little bit. This is one of the gate panels, uh, prefabricated gate panels, but as you can see, uh, they're only about two feet wide and they're not gonna be near big enough to cover my sidewalk, which is five feet wide. So what we're gonna do is uh, just use a couple of the fence panels. You could even use these for hinges if you wanted, but I went ahead and bought the, uh, the gates just to get this the hinge mechanism from it. You know, one thing I find kind of irritating about these uh, do-it-yourself videos is they'll use a bunch of high dollar equipment that uh, most homeowners you know just don't have or can't afford uh, so I'm going to use my panel saw to cut this gate if you don't have one uh, you might think about it they're pretty handy but uh, you know I mean you could definitely use a, just a circular saw or a hand saw okay so here's what I did uh, for the gate I just replaced the standard uh, connection with the, the hinge off of the pre-made gate that I bought. The holes are not gonna match up, so uh, you have to punch some new holes in it, but uh, pretty soft wood, it's pretty easy to do. On this bottom one, you'll have to remove the bushing out of the hinge, and that's as simple as just pushing all three of these at the same time, and then putting it back in there. It's probably gonna be as as easy as just Ooh, there we go toward the end here my uh, pilot rod started to get a little bend in it so it was a little harder to to keep everything straight um, looking back on it I would have made marks on approximately four sides of it and each time I used it, I would have turned a different mark away from me. Uh, you know, that way hopefully this wouldn't happen. It wasn't too bad anyway. And this is just a, you know, a standard piece of uh, galvanized pipe. Another thing you'll probably find is that in spite of your best efforts, uh, they're not going to line up perfectly when you go to set the next piece. But usually what you can do is just lift up on this end. If this end doesn't fit, pick this end up, you know, about a foot or so, and then go ahead and get your pole lined up, and uh, more times than not, it'll just drop right in. This was my first attempt at a piloting rod. Didn't work out too good. Uh, as you can see, this the rod that I put in there is hopelessly stuck in here, which I hate because it was one of my favorite little pilot tools that I used. So uh, the galvanized pipe, you know, worked a lot better, and uh, I was able to stand up a little easier on my back too. So this might have worked if this end down here had not have been pointed this is one of the spikes uh, that got destroyed because I had to reposition it so what I'm going to do is cut this up into spacers or the places that need to be raised up a little bit um, or I may just use PVC pipe depending on you know how easy this is to cut so we'll see how that goes one thing I wanted to mention is a lot of times when we're on projects like this, we get in a hurry, fixated on getting the project done. And uh, 
when you pack things in a back like this, keep in mind what might happen if you have to make an emergency stop. And like with this piece here, uh, as bad as it would be to get hit in the back with that ball end, definitely it would not want to get hit in the back with this uh, spear end. So make sure everything's tied down good. Uh, make sure things like this are down uh, where they can't get away easily and uh, you know keep pointed ends and things especially if it's at head level uh, keep it pointed towards the back okay so we got our fence pretty much built here it's a great looking fence i've had lots of comments on it uh, when you look down the top though you can see why i was using the fence post leveler and trying to keep things straight because it's it's an easy fence to build but uh, it's a little tricky to uh, keep it in a straight line so in my next video we'll be using spacers and uh, different things to get the, the tops nice and level and get the um, get everything in a straight line and, uh, and we're going to paint it color to match the lighter color to match the house but I uh, wanted to go ahead and get this finished Hope you guys enjoyed it. Would love it if you'd give me a like and especially if you'd give me a subscribe. Thank you. So when you uh, you put your next piece on, that's how you know what, oh Jesus. Um,